guys, this is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here with a Lippin' Chat. This was supposed to be a kidding up video. Um, you have seen this before when I was trying to decide what to do for diamond painting with friends for February. Enza at Enza's Diamond Painting Gallery and Crafty Chef Diamond are hosting Love is in the Air. So I had a whole pile of things to choose from. I Then I narrowed it down to two. And then I found the drills for the other one first. I thought, I'm going to maybe do that one first. But then I found the drills for this one pretty soon after that. And check it out, you guys. The drills for this one are already in baggies. I didn't have to kit this one up. So this is one, four, three, five. I hope this is the right one. <laughs> I really hope it is. So let's see. Uh, it, there are 23 colors. This does say one, four, three, five, right? One, four, three, five. So let's see how many colors are in here. I haven't done an actual diamond painting, diamond painting in a long time. I've been doing all those little things. And there are, look at that, 23 colors. 23 is I. And, uh-oh, they're not in order. Here's number four. I don't know if you can see that. Number three. Number six. So give me a second to put these in order, you guys. And I'll be right back. Okay, we are in order. So, this is what it looks like without the light. Wait, I turned on the light. And here it is going to look brighter with the light. And I've got it on my Art Dot light pad. I used to have a smaller light pad than this. And I gave it away. I think this is the A3 size. I give away my A4 size. The A4 size would have been good for this. But I gave it to my friend because she was having a hard time seeing. But you can't um, attach them to the one side when you have a bigger light pad is the only thing. So I'm kind of working over in this corner right now. And I'm just going to flip that back, flip that over, and we'll work down here. And the eye is the 23, so that's what I'm gonna start with, and that's the very last one. Pretty color. So um, Enza and her friend are doing these really cute little dragons that are baking. So I don't feel bad that mine's not really Valentine-y because the dragons baking are not really Valentine-y, but the theme is love is in the air, not Valentine's. So, it was just me that I had Valentine's in my head. You won't believe how long I looked for my Valentine gnomes that I really wanted to do. And that I couldn't do because I had already done them. <laughs> that was so funny. And I got to go through all of my diamond paintings that were uh, laid flat. So I got to see a lot of the ones that I have that I really love. That I, I, I just, I got to start diamond painting. And I got to stop buying I gotta stop buying until I get my, my laid flat stature down at least. It's one, two, three, four. I'm always so bad with um multiplacing at first when I first start out, but let's do it. So I am very shaky because of my asthma drugs, you guys. But I'm feeling a little bit better today. I can't remember if I like going up and down or side to side better. So I don't know if you can see this very well. I hope you can. So when I'm also not sure when this is going to go out, it does have to go out in February. So I'm hoping my, uh, yeah, I just, I've got so much on the go, you guys, like craft wise for the channel. I hope you're enjoying all of the content. I've been putting a lot of different kinds of content out. And I have some other new things that I've not done before that I plan to do. So I'm really excited for that. Mm. 
I don't know. I might be pushing my luck trying to put six. What do you think? With my hands this shaky. And you know, I enjoy single placing the most. But I just don't have the time that I would need to single place everything. But when I'm just wanting to relax and just enjoy myself diamond painting, single painting is my favorite thing. Not single painting. <laughs> single placing. Let's just make up words now. Oh, I took one off because I thought I had one too many and I didn't. That was exactly right. Let's just single place a few. Actually, see, when I single place, I, I get them in the wrong place more than when I'm multi-placing. Like, that's when I go cricket. I'm much straighter when I multi-place. Oh, well. This is for fun. This is not for... If I put this down a little bit lower, I can put... The... Oh, I shut my light off. I always do that. Now, I did want to, uh, I could have put this upside down so that the cord was away over here, but the cord that I'm using, I've got it plugged into my laptop because it won't reach the floor. I can't find my big long cord that I usually use for this. So I don't know where I put it. You know, I, the last time I used it was at camp, so it actually might be in my computer bag still. So I'm going to have to go look in my computer bag. I bet that's where it is. Because I have a really nice long cord that reaches my floor plug for the light pad. And then I can put it on the top edge instead of the bottom. But this one just reaches my laptop, which is on a desk next to me. So, yeah, I can't put it that way. It will not reach. So, my mom had her birthday recently. She turned 80 years old. And I felt really bad because I couldn't go out with him anywhere. I feel bad enough that I might have exposed my parents. So um, my dad took my mom for supper the day before her birthday. And then for her actual birthday, we had supper here, but I stayed pretty far away from them. And um, I tried to stay six feet away. And I didn't stay downstairs very long. I was just downstairs long enough to take pictures of my mom um, blowing out the candles on her cake and sing her happy birthday and watch her open her gifts. And then I took my cake to go. <laughs> I took it upstairs. I didn't want to eat down there with them and get them sick. My mom turned 80. My dad is 84. I keep thinking my dad is 85, but he says he's 84. But I thought I could have swore my whole life that my dad was five years older than my mom. I know I am 20 years younger than my mom. I'll be 60 in the summer. Isn't that crazy? I don't know where the time goes. I don't feel like I'm going to be 60. I don't, I don't, like my body feels older, obviously, but my brain still feels like I just feel like me still. More forgetful. So anyway, my mom really loved all of the uh, items that I made for her. Out of everything that I made her, I made her earrings. I made her the um, diamond painted notebook. And the embroidered pendant necklace. And out of all of those things, she liked the diamond painting notebook the best. She put it right beside her phone right away. She was really, really happy with it. Which made me really, really happy. Because she doesn't often like the things I get her. She often returns everything and just takes the money. So she can't return things I make her. And she doesn't like me spending money on her or my dad. She gets really mad, and I spent a lot at Christmas. She's still mad at me for that. I like the sound it makes when it sticks down. 
This one has a really good stick. This is from One Day Savings, this one. So I have to remember to put that down. Oh no, wax is coming out. I used the white sticky tack on the single placer and the wax on the multi placer. I used to use the wax on the multi placer, but um, I was breaking my multi placers trying to put it in. I broke a lot of the tips that way, so I just went back to using wax for the multi placer. And I must be hard on my like I must be really hard when I push because I um I just scoosh everything out on the sides. I do like that sound though. I find it very, very satisfying. I'm just looking for spots where I could single place. I mean I could single place wherever I want. I don't have to use the multi placer, but I'm really worried that that um I don't know how long it will take for the new PR package to come in and that's going to have a lot of stuff that I need to do for that. Well, not a lot of stuff and they gave me a lot of time. I'm not going to say the company's name yet just in case it falls through, but they're giving me two months to do three videos. They want me to do some unboxings and some tutorial videos and I don't have to do them like all in a row, which is really good for my channel because my channel does better when I alternate stuff. Like if I do an Amazon one one day and a Timu one the other day and a whip and chat one day and a completion then another day. My channel doesn't do well when I do everything in a row. Even diamond painting. In fact, my most popular video on the channel is an Amazon unboxing of my little owl Alexa. That's my number one most popular, most watched. I don't know about most popular, I should say most watched. What is your most watched channel, a video, if you have a channel? And was it sh surprising to you? Because that was really surprising to me. Because it's really not arts and craft related at all. And this is an arts and crafts channel. And I guess a shopping channel, because I do a lot of shopping. This is the Jack of All Trades channel. I almost called myself Jill of All Trades. That was one name I almost came up with, but then I thought, well, I better not. And my other channel is Bad Gamer Cat, so that's why I went with Crafty Cat for this one. If you like gaming, go check out my other channel, although I don't post as often. I'm actually really behind on that channel. That channel is so much work, you guys. It's so much work to record a video game, because I'm not good. But that's the name Bad Gamer Cat. So, and then I get stressed out trying to record myself playing, because I, I don't have the fastest eye-hand coordination, especially if it's a shooty game. Or something where you have to do fast or you might die. I die a lot. But they're fun. The games are fun. And my most um, liked game on that one is Seven Days to Die. And that is one of my favorite games. It's a zombie killing game. But it's not just about the zombies. That's actually a small part. Like It's a pain in the neck, the zombies. That they're there and they wreck everything. But it's the whole game is a voxel game. Which means everything in the game can be used. So you could dig in the soil to get dirt. You can chop down trees to get wood. You can you can use your pickaxe on stones and go mining for iron ore and stone and stuff. And you could build anything and everything. And you can go looting in broken down buildings. And it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. But oh my gosh, I die a lot in that game. A lot. And my computer now 
is having a very hard time playing it because my laptop is five years old. It's a gaming laptop, but it's having issues. Um, every time there's a new update, my computer plays it worse and worse. And even if I were to go buy a new laptop tomorrow, which I can't afford to do, it would probably only play the game for another year, possibly two years. And if they keep updating the game, then they would update themselves away from my newer laptop. So I can't win, you know? So even though that's my favorite game besides, besides The Sims, I love The Sims, but The Sims does not do well on my channel. My channel, the survival games do better. And most especially Seven Days to Die. I think people like to see me freaking out because I'm scared of the zombies. I say holy crap a lot on that channel. <laughs> As zombies are trying to kill me. But anyway, if you're interested in that, go check that out. I have to start playing again. And I have a lot of VR games on that channel too. But I've been too sick to play my VR games, you guys, because you need to move around and jump around to play VR on uh, well, most of them, not all of them. But there's like movement and my asthma has been bad, so I haven't been able to play those. I haven't been able to do my exercise bike. I'll be very happy when I can go back to that. But it's been so long now that I've lost all of my muscle tone again and I'm going to have to build everything up again. I hate that. It happens to me all the time. I go from being able to swim for two hours and kayak for four hours to if I walk a block, it's killing me <laughs> because I'm like almost bedridden for a month at a time. But it could be worse. I'm so lucky that I do get better and I have times where I can do the things I enjoy. And I enjoy this. I'm so glad that I have this. I don't know what I would do if I didn't like doing arts and crafts because this keeps me sane when, and even when I'm not sick, I really enjoy arts and crafts. Like at camp while I was kayaking and walking and, and swimming, I was still diamond painting every day. It's something I really love to do. But I also like doing the other stuff. You know what? I'm sick of this color. Are you guys sick of this color? Let's just switch to the green. Let us just switch it over to a different color for a while. Because this whole thing is going to almost all be this color. And I, I'm bored. And I really love that these came pre-bagged. That is so awesome. So let's do one of this green. Let's do C. C? What are you? C is number 10. Oh, it's this color green. It's kind of like a moss green, like an earthy green. Down here, it looks like a yellowy green, doesn't it? There's like yellow mixed in. I'm single placing. I feel like single placing right now. I really, really enjoy single placing. What do you guys prefer? Little branch. Oh, I've got two here, but they're weird. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, C 
see. C. Three C's in a row. Nice to see a little bit of color going down. I see some C's over here. Some more single placing. And I'm just gonna lift this up because I just see two right here, three. One, two, three. And there's two more up here, but I'm, I'm not going to lift those. There's a few around here. We'll get those later. Is that it for the C's? C, going once, going twice. I don't see any more C's. And if there are more C's, it's not the end of the world. We'll get them later. Yeah, I wish all the companies put things in baggies. I like the baggies. Alrighty for number 10. And how about we do E now? E is number 19. It's going to be another green. A darker green this time. It's a woodsy green. Uh-oh. And here. What are you guys all working on? Did I already say that? I think I say that like a million times in every video. And then sometimes I don't say it at all because I assume I've said it like a million times already. Because I think it all the time. Is that it for the ease? No. Oh. How long have I been recording? Half an hour. Wow. Half an hour already? Should we do another color, you guys? I can go for a little bit more, right? Um, what color is X? X is six. How about a light blue color? It's like a blue-gray, like a slate blue-gray. Yeah, more gray than blue, I would say. When I held it up, like on here, it looks blue, but when I look at the drills, they look gray. What about you? Did you see gray? Sorry for all the dull colors. All the red is way up here. Maybe I should have picked the other one. I'm single placing because I feel like it. I'll switch to my multi-placer pretty soon. Are there any more single X's? Yeah. I'm just looking for places where the X's stand alone. two there. There's one there. One there. I 
Oh, there were two there. Hmm. There's more X's than I thought. I should have dumped more out. Yeah, I need more X's. After doing a month of the um, the advent calendar where everything's little, even this little 30 by 30 seems pretty big. And it's so funny because before that, I did that real big one. I did that one from uh, Diamond Art Club that was huge for my dad for his birthday. And then from there to these little, I did the little advent, and now the 30 by 30 seems big, and usually that seems so small. It's all about perspective, I guess. see a two spot here and a bunch of one spots oh and I want to show you my nails my Timu nails my nail wraps from Timu are not that great they don't last anywhere near as long as my Amazon ones. I mean, this hand still looks good, but it's only about three or four days now. And my Amazon ones last two weeks before they start looking ratty like this. So, and these start looking ratty like on the second day. So, yeah, they're not as good. And it's, it's not Timu itself. It's whatever store I bought these off of Timu, right? So I don't know if all of them with these designs are bad because I saw this exact same design on Amazon, but if it's this, this, it costs more money, which you don't mind paying if it's like a better quality, but if it's exact same quality, then that's not good. Maybe closer to summer, I'll buy the exact same set off Amazon and Timu and we'll compare and see if they're the same or if one set is better than the other. Can't do it now because I've got too much stuff going on right now. So even if I were to buy it now, I wouldn't be able to do it. But um, I can't afford to buy it right now anyway. My dad has got a bad cough. Gosh, I hope I didn't get him sick. Anyway, you guys, I've just looked at the time, and it's gone over half an hour. I, um, it's, it's quite late right now, so I want to be quiet. So I think I'm going to have to stop here. What time is it? Yeah, it's 1.16 a.m., so I better stop. And, um... Let's turn off the light and see what's done so far. Not very much, as you can see. So I've got some of the white done, some of the green, some of the gray. That's a little bit of a start. So that was the whip and chat for our Love Birds for February Paint with Friends, Love is in the Air, hosted by Enza's Diamond Painting Gallery and Crafty Chef Diamond. So if you don't watch these uh, people these women go check them out they're awesome and um yeah so i guess you'll see this next time when i have a little bit more done maybe we'll do another whip and chat if i get a chance hopefully we'll get a few more whip and chats done on this though i, I would like to get at least two 
whipping chats, if not three. I'll try my best. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe. Hit the notification bell. All of those good things that help me as a channel. And most importantly of all, take care and stay safe. Happy crafting. Bye, guys.